From small colonies to massive empires, here are some civilizations that mysteriously disappeared. Number 8. Roanoke In 1587, a group of about 115 English settlers arrived on Roanoke Island off the coast of what is now North Carolina. This was the country's first true attempt to settle in a land that would eventually become the United States. About a year after the colony got there, John White, the colony's governor, decided to sail back to England to get more supplies and people, leaving behind his family. But it was a troublesome time to go back because the country was at war with Spain, so it took him three whole years to return. The colony had spent three years in a land they were not familiar with, three years full of things they were possibly not prepared to deal with. So, in 1590, when a ship finally arrived with the new supplies, and when the ship's crew came upon the settlement, no one was there, nor was there any trace of the colony itself. The only things they found were a skeleton of a single person and the message carved into wood that read Proatoan. Centuries later, people are still trying to figure out what happened to the colony. There have been many theories, but the biggest theory comes from Croatoan. This word is the name of an island just south of where the colony was formed, and it was also the name of a Native American tribe that lived on the island. Many people think the Croatoan people actually wiped out Roanoke, but there's a problem with that theory. If there was a massive battle, why was there only one skeleton found? It's unlikely that the Croatoan people would have taken the bodies. If anything, they would have left them there as a warning for those who were thinking of invading their land. Furthermore, if there was a battle in the settlement, there would have been more damage and some clues as to what happened to it, but there was nothing there when they returned. Another theory is that the people were so desperate for supplies that they decided to go to the island of Croatoan to try and live there, either as part of the tribe or just to make a new home for themselves. But if that was true, why did they full-on abandon the colony? Even in desperation, it seems unlikely that they would have completely broken it down. And even so, why only leave one clue? Carved into wood, no less. Why not leave a more detailed message or have someone stay behind in case England did indeed return? No one knows. Number 7. Indus Valley the Indus began building settlements in present-day India and Pakistan as early as 8,000 years ago, making them one of the earliest civilizations. By the 3rd millennium BC, they occupied over 386,000 square miles of territory, much more than their better-known contemporaries in Egypt and Mesopotamia, and accounted for an estimated 10% of the world's population, which shows just how large of a civilization they were. Aside from being massive, they were a very advanced culture in terms of their writing script, which to this day has not been decoded, and they even had a sanitation system that rivaled the Romans in terms of how advanced it was. So what happened? Here's the mystery. Around 1900 BC, the Indus people fled their cities and apparently migrated southeast. But why? There are many theories on this, including that an invasion that happened near them spooked them into leaving, but that has since been debunked. Some historians believe the Indus civilization collapsed because of changes to the geography and the climate of the area. The rivers dried up and people were forced to abandon their homes people could have starved and diseases would have spread. Perhaps because of this chaos, rulers lost control of their cities. Lots of historians think it was a mixture of different reasons. The true answer is lost to history and bearing a deciphering of their texts. Number six, Anasazi. It might surprise you to learn that the Anasazi actually lived in the United States and did some incredible things before they vanished. In the dry Four Corners region of the present-day U.S., the Anasazi built spectacular stone dwellings into the sides of cliffs during the 12th and 13th centuries, some of which contained hundreds of rooms. For comparison, the next time we would see architecture of this size and scale was when skyscrapers would be constructed in the 1880s, showing that this group of people knew exactly how to construct buildings this large and not fail. But what happened to them? Apparently a lot. 
because not long after these massive buildings were made, a slew of bad things happened to the Anasazi. This comes not from theories, but remains found in these sites. Researchers have uncovered signs of massacres and cannibalism, as well as evidence of deforestation, water management problems, and a crippling long-term drought that many believe precipitated the slide into violence. This and many other things led the Anasazi to flee their well-built homes and head south. But as to what was the definitive straw that broke their back and forced them south, it's hard to say. Number five, Caral Supe. In the area known as Latin America, there have been multiple nations who have had great empires, such as the Caral Supe, also referred to as the Norte Chico civilization. Though the full scope of the former empire is unknown, there is a strong belief that the empire resided for the most part in Peru, around the Supe River, where the name comes from. The age of the empire is said to have been around 5000 BCE. This city showed just how big this nation was. Just within the city were temples, six super pyramids, plazas, and more, indicating that they not only had a large empire, but also the architectural know-how to build very impressive buildings. The site was initially found in 1904, but it wasn't dug up for another nine decades because the people who found it were only looking for gold, silver, and other items. As for what happened to them, it's believed that they were eclipsed and certain agricultural shortcomings forced them to move north to survive. Today, the city is a World Heritage Site. Number 4. Cahokia Around 12,000 years ago, a series of corn villages started to pop up in areas of the American Southwest and Midwest. The Cahokia were the biggest of these villages, located just outside St. Louis, with a population of about 20,000 people, which at the time was about the size of London. They built their homes large and even had a wall protecting it and a solar calendar just outside of it. Their location was strategic as they had the Mississippi River next to them and made it a hub for trade within the nation at the time. For a couple hundred years, they thrived, but then around 1200 AD, things started to crumble. What happened? One of the biggest theories is a flood that was confirmed to have happened in the area at the time. Number three, Easter Island. Easter Island is a mysterious place because there's little information about the people who live there called the Rapa Nu. Despite numerous expeditions to the island, including some that were meant to find out the origins of the people, there is quite a bit of information that we still don't know about them. What's more, it's clear that the people were gifted in many things, including farming and sculpting massive statues that remain on the island to this day. It's been noted that they did not have any help in doing any of their crafting. So how did they get it all done? They have a writing that has not been decoded to this day. As for what happened to them, it was a cavalcade of events, including slave raids, loss of natural resources, European settlers invading, and more. But even with all of this, there are still a lot of mysteries that have not been solved on Easter Island. Number two, the Greenland Vikings. The story of Greenland changes depending on who you talk to. And to this day, it's one of the least populated areas in the world. But once upon a time, a fleet of Viking ships set sail to Greenland to inhabit it. They were led by Eric the Red in 985 AD. He set up various settlements, built statues, and more. The colonies appeared to be successful and even grew to 5,000 strong. Yet when a missionary expedition arrived in 1721, intent on converting them into Protestantism, it found nothing but ruins. So what happened? According to research, it appears the two main settlements collapsed in the 1400s. But how, when it seemed to be thriving? That would be due to the Little Ice Age, it appears, as it shortened the growing season, hurt trade routes, and more. Without food or a way to trade, the society collapsed. Now, as to what happened to the Vikings, no one is exactly sure. There is a great debate about whether they returned to Iceland or that they simply died in their failed civilizations. What needs to be noted though, is that the Vikings were just the first of many to try and colonize the nation, but its harsh conditions continue to make it a mostly barren place to this day. Number one, the Maya. One of the most mysterious groups of people to ever live were known as the Maya. 
They were a group of people that ruled Mesoamerica for many centuries and have left their mark on the world with things like their cities, their infamous calendar, which said the world would end in 2012, their rituals and sacrifices and more. But the biggest impact they left by far is the mystery and debate about where they went. Despite being masters in writing, agriculture, construction, and more, the Mayans just vanished from the face of the earth leaving their cities and artifacts just lying around waiting to be discovered. And the more we found, the more we debated what happened to them. If there was a bloody conflict that wiped them out, there's no sign of it. If it was a disease, there is no clue as to where it came from and where the people themselves went after being infected. If it was an internal struggle, their writings don't document it. To this day, people still debate where they went why they left at the peak of their power, and why they left so much behind. Thanks for watching. What did you think of these civilizations that mysteriously disappeared? Do you know where they went? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.